We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering... Are we friends? Uh, what's your name again? What's going on right now? <laughs> sure, we're pals. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. I'm glad too, because I don't want you killing me in my sleep, because that was really creepy. <laughs> I don't know what that was, guys. I just loaded up my game here, and uh, before I could even choose continue, that's what she wanted to talk to me about. So, don't know how important that is. Is this game building like a psych profile of me? <laughs> Certain games have tried that before. But in any case, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I think last time we played, we got our message out as Marcus, our Android Freedom Message guys. And now we're back with Connor. A little bit of instability going on, maybe. Okay, we're back in the, the Zen Garden. I guess we're going to go talk to Amanda again. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be getting out of these little appointments with her. I guess it's like a general progress update, letting you know like where you stand with Connor. How good or bad you've been doing, what they expect out of you. I wish I knew who Amanda was. You know, you think about like a company that's advanced enough to make a an android like Connor, <laughs> a company like Cyberlife that can do these amazing technological things, these incredible robotic parts, this AI programming, all these different things. You wouldn't expect them to work in a place like this. I mean, I guess this isn't where the bulk of it goes down, but can you imagine something more like a like a Google type of thing? Well, I, I guess. I guess Google has places like this, don't they? They're known for being a little out of the box. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe they're like a metaphor for Google. And instead of working in a normal office with computers and desks and chairs and all that stuff, this is where they work. And the computers just blend into the, into the background and become part of the scenery somehow. They just camouflage in. And that serenity, that peacefulness is what keeps them sane, keeps them working. I guess this is Amanda up in this boat up here. Are we going to go for a boat ride? Because that sounds fun. I would like to do that. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You thought right. Amanda's neutral right now. We got to get on our good side. And off we go. Am I supposed to keep doing this? I guess not. Here we go. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me. What have you discovered? I've discovered Hank, apparently. My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I suspect it's not going to be that simple. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Oh, I'm missing some dialogue options. I am a little troubled. Let's be real with her. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? Wait. That's like the opposite of what I was trying to do. What the fuck? That was stupid. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Uh, okay. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. 
Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. I think I probably came out even during that exchange. I don't think I really scored any points with her, but... Ugh. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. <laughs> so what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Yeah, that seems like an alright place to start. Okay, we're done with the briefing. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay, so when Mr. Perkins there said, you know, after everything that happened regarding androids, was he just talking about this place, or was he talking about something personal with Hank? Does that have something to do with his kid who died? I wonder. That would explain a lot about Hank's personality. Alright, we got a full-on crime scene to look at here, guys. No real clues on that. I do like this whole idea of, like, performing an event or an action as one character and then having to investigate it as another character. Like, same thing, but from a different perspective. So, like, you kind of have some insight as to what's going on. That was a really cool thing about Indigo Prophecy, which is an older game from the same studio. Speech was shot from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was probably the best part of that game, honestly. Like, uh, I remember you started the game in, like, a like a crime scene. Like, you had just committed a murder and you didn't know why. And you, you had to, like, cover it up and try and, like, destroy the evidence and make your escape before you got discovered. And then you investigated that same crime scene from a different character's perspective. I just remember thinking that was really cool. Okay, fresh blood. Deviant was shot right there. Putting it all together. Still many things to look at. We're going to save the screen for last. Yes, this is where he hit the record button. Possible accomplice. Check CCTV. 
Okay, so that's what that is. What's this one over here? Play. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do the CCTV first. Oh, I've actually got control of this. Nice. Did not break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Why did I just turn that chair? Okay. So, inspect the broadcast room, check the rooftop, interrogate androids in the kitchen. Maybe we should go do that next. I don't want to, like, end this investigation prematurely, but I don't know what happens when we actually play this. Eh, let's just do it now. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Oh, we're gonna analyze from the video footage, okay. RK series prototype, RK200, registered as Marcus. Oh, I picked that up just from this. Interesting. Blue iris spare part. And pupil reflection, Deviant did have accomplices. Confirmed. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. We're not going to tell him who it belongs to? Okay. I guess that'll come up later. Maybe we can actually go back and talk to Carl, guys. That'd be fun. I've been wondering what that old fart knocker's been up to. Bullet holes. Alright, then we got one more thing over here to look at. Looks like it's just more bullet holes. Well, let's go make certain. So we basically just analyzed the two groups shooting at each other and the different kind of weapons they had. So am I actually going to put all this together at some point? It's a lot of little things that we're picking up on, but it doesn't seem like we're piecing it together yet. Although, honestly, I don't know how much there is to investigate. We already got the identity of the droid, which seems like by far the most important thing. <laughs> like, we know why they were here. I don't think we're super duper concerned with, like, exactly how they got in, because they're probably not coming back, right? Okay. Well, we already looked at the CCTV, so... It's okay. Yeah, I guess we're about good out here.
If I was Connor, I would want to find out more about these accomplices. That seems very important. We need to know how many dudes he's working with. We need to know where they came from. Are these the guys we're going to interrogate? Yeah. Okay. Look at Connor stare them all down like a mad dog. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Hmm. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. I spotted a reaction during that. <laughs> Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Alright, how about you? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. So I can't ask them all the same questions. I guess I should have been spreading out those questions. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. This is not helping at all. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Okay, well, this guy down on the left, he broke rank a couple times and looked down, so... Okay, we're not going to torture or probe memory, though. The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. Violence. I don't like any of these options we have left. The last time we probed memory, it did not go great for us, guys. And torture seems like a bad idea as well. Ugh. It's this guy on the left. I keep catching him, like, stealing glances at me. It's totally him! You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! Ugh. The fuck? Oh man. Please tell me I'm not dying. Oh god. Oh god. Hank. Hank. I need help. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to die again, guys. I feel like I was railroaded into this, and I don't know how to get out. There are no options here, what the fuck, man? Well, wouldn't you guys help me? Am I allowed to talk or do anything? What the actual hell? Can I reach over and... Oh, there we go.
I may have taken too long to do that. I gotta get that piece back in me. Move! Don't stop for anything, don't stop for anything! I don't think I have enough time, guys. This sucks! Move faster, damn you! Faster! Oh, I did it! Get him! It's a deviant. Stop. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we've got attack. Save Hank. Save Hank. What? Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I... Connor. <laughs> Connor, no. But I died saving his life. Like, come on. I can't be... What the fuck, guys? <laughs> Oh, he's still alive and he's in hiding. Wow. Wow, okay. That's interesting. So, we'll start from the beginning here. World stats. Let's see. Wounded during Statford Tower. Okay, yeah, so if that happens, we can analyze the blood. Attacked by SWAT during Statford Tower. So a lot of these choices in here are dependent on how things went down during the actual attack. Well, we got Connor killed again. Jesus Christ. Only 34% of people protected Hank during that. <laughs> so, if we find the Deviant, he's always going to attack. Okay. And I don't know if there's any way to keep both myself and Hank alive while that's playing out. But, whatever. I was just trying to help out my buddy. Got myself killed for it again. Okay, where are we now? Alice is at family status, Luther is neutral. Find help. For a lot of these sections with Kara and Alice, I feel like we're just like missing some exposition in between scenes. I guess we've just been on the run and we've just randomly come up to this house. I guess we don't really need more than that. for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? I don't know. I don't know who the frick these people are. You don't have a choice. I mean, I guess so. She didn't, like, immediately attack us on sight, so... That's something. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. 
I need to turn this little girl into an android. Then we won't have to worry about things like the temperature and food and shelter. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? This Adam fellow doesn't seem very happy to see us. Looks like there's something I can read right here. Well, not yet, I guess. Okay. Let's take care of Alice first. Getting close to Christmas time, guys. It's the end of November. And that means for some people, it's already been Christmas for a month. Nice to meet you, Adam. So, this looks like a fairly normal place. What do I have on my agenda here? Just put her to bed? Okay. Oh, this is better than Zlaka's house, I'll tell you that much. Okay. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Um, it'll be fine. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. It's, it is complicated. <laughs> humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Yeah, it just doesn't always really work like that is the whole problem. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Yeah, why don't you have something to eat? You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Wait, when she says she hasn't had anything since we've left... Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Does that mean, like, her house? Like, Todd's house? Because that was a long time ago. No wonder she has a freaking fever. Alright. No, she seems good for now. Luther will definitely take care of her. Also, this rose lady made spaghetti really freaking quickly. I gotta ask her how she does that. I guess spaghetti doesn't really take all that long, comparatively speaking, to other dishes. But that was still really fast. She might be a witch, guys. We're going to have to be careful. So! Who are you? I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So... 
So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I think we're probably meant to trust her, so... Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I help many deviants. Tell me about yourself. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. It's a pretty good deal. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Okay, so she's basically going to be... Uh, yeah, I get it. Okay. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. She's basically the Underground Railroad, guys. She's going to help us get to Canada. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Um... No choice in which way. <laughs> we can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Okay, let's see what we dragged along with us, guys. Check what's going on. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let's let them be. You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Oh, uh, let's take her outside. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. All right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. So you don't want to eat, you don't want to sleep. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... 
they're nothing. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Yeah, get told. Stupid Adam. Every single place we go, guys, there's got to be just like at least one dickhead just ruining things, making it so difficult for us. Thanks for standing up to him, Rose. You're all right. Don't mind him. Well, I won't. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. All right. Looks like we're in good shape, guys. Wait a second. Oh wow. Blue blood pouches. She's even got supplies for us, should we need them? Where the hell- oh. <laughs> I thought that Kara and Luther just vanished and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Hey, now we can read this. Century Magazine. Who would win it? World War Three. Uh, let's see. If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but it is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their, hand their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. Oh, that's pretty handy. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Trojan and Myrmidon cyber life units, which are especially adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through the solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disputation, has described both U.S. and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the U.N. has also commented on the neck-and-neck -neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that forces are so evenly balanced is one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Why would you want to fight it in Antarctica, though? Like, there's better places, it seems like. <laughs> Like, we, we can fight over the Arctic, but just do it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Treat yourself. The AX400 starting at just eight ninety nine. That looks like me. I guess that's about it for this issue. Right. The police. Fuck. It's the police. Uh, find evidence of deviance? Three left? Um, okay, you guys. Go. Have to open the door. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew this was gonna happen. Ah! Uh. I knew it. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Okay, and then this. We gotta get rid of this. That's probably not good enough, but <laughs> what else is there? Um, we have some stuff to look at. Back this way. Reassure, threaten, calm. Uh. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? Keep calm and just do what I say. I am so going to mess this up. Is there anything else we need to do? Oh shit. There's two left. Okay, close this door. What else is left? I can't go upstairs. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. 
With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. We have to kill him. We have to kill him right now. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? What did that say? Don't arouse suspicion. Find evidence of deviance. One left and make coffee. No. Yeah, I don't know what this other evidence is. No, nothing in particular. Is it this over here? What is this? Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Fuck, I think I got away with it, guys. <laughs> Somehow. But there's still plenty of time to screw it up, so... Gonna look around all suspiciously. Why don't you uh, have a seat, pal? Have some coffee. Everything here is good. I made this just for you, you know. Thanks. Okay, so, coffee served. All we have to do is not arouse suspicion. <laughs> Should be easy enough. Yeah, it went down. What are you doing reading a magazine, huh? Only androids read magazines. Everybody knows that. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, 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 I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. Well, that sucks. You guys couldn't stay still for two goddamn minutes, honestly. There's nothing suspicious there. <laughs> My name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I can't believe he actually bought that. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, uh, the, the washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Oh, I think I did it, guys. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Yeah! Something actually finally went my way, guys. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. <laughs> I'm, like, gonna jinx it just by talking about it. Nothing to see here! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, let's see. 84% of people got the policeman to leave. I guess that's pretty standard then. Nothing to really celebrate. 
a uh, couple other ways it can end. Probably none of them are really all that good. That was a lot of things you can explore in the house. Yeah, I didn't really try to go into any other doors. I figured that'd be rude. I didn't want to, like, piss this lady off the first time I met her, you know? Cool. 